What's going on guys and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 with me, Spacefish. In this uh, episode, um, we are actually going to try something new. I want to take you guys into a free game. So this is kind of back to another first episode. Um, but yeah, like I've been playing the campaign with you guys for like two or three episodes so far. And while I've had a good bit of enjoyment doing it, I feel that free game is kind of a different story for me. Just because it's like one progressive kind of game where I can take everything into my own hands as opposed to the campaign which seems to just kind of guide you through like one decade of like a few random tasks and then move on. Um, so yeah, I decided that I think it would be a good idea to along the campaign also do a few recordings of a free game where we can just do our own thing so that's exactly what we are going to do right here. Um, so let's head right in there. Now for map generation, um, I've kind of already made some presets, I've had a little try um, here and there for my own little personal game, so very large I think is pretty decent, you've got a lot of towns, a good bit of factories to connect as well, there's definitely like, we're not going to get to a state where it's going to be boring most definitely. Um, the thing that I'm not quite sure about yet um, is temperate, dry or tropical, what I'm thinking is um, we will start our first free game with uh, the European kind of uh, vehicles. So we're going to stay with Temperate, then we're eventually maybe going to move over to USA, uh, which we're going to do dry, and then eventually potentially also Asian and tropical, just depending on how long this game keeps me and you guys hooked. But for the time being thus, um, let's go for Temperate. I'm going to keep everything pretty much ag uh, average. I do want to try though. If this is a C that does work, it seems it does. So uh, we're going to use space fish as a seed, which I think is uh, pretty interesting. If you guys want to actually uh, join me on the same map, put that into your seed field and you should hopefully, ideally, be getting the same uh, map. Which this one actually looks quite cool. I think we could actually uh, put some ferries down here and... Uh, I actually use the water, uh, waterways as well in the long run, so let's do that. Let's go next. I'm going to pick Europe, as I said. I'm going to set the start year to 1850. Now, um, this may be a controversial, cho uh, controversial choice because I think there's not too much stuff available in 1850. But, uh, I don't know, I just feel like going through uh, all the decades pretty much uh, that the game has to offer. So, honestly, why not? Difficulty, we're going to keep it at medium just as we had it in the campaign. And this is going to get us to our loading screen, which, as before, I'm going to cut this one out, so I'll see you guys right after the loading screen. Right, guys, and welcome back from that little cut. We're just waiting for the screen to actually turn on. And hopefully here we go. Yep. We're slowly loading in, I guess. Looks to be it. Perfect. Okay, so here we are on our beautiful, huge map. It's already. Oh well, yeah, we we've got a well, sort of a fog the outlines just to kind of pretend my computer from crashing uh, due to the high uh, si uh, due to the big size of the map, I guess. So um, we are gonna lower the sound volume even a little more. I, I, I just feel this is a bit too loud, don't you guys do as well? I had to post correct the last few videos already, so um, I lowered it a bit and well, felt that this was not quite enough, so let's do another one. Um, so, let's kind of see what we got here, um, where we could probably just start things off. We've got a steel mill here, should be an option. Um, which, okay, there's no, oh, well, this place needs steel, but it's kind of hard because you need plastics for that. I just like to have a simple manufacturing line for now, if that makes any sense. So, like, something like this, like with the planks, planks to tools, and tools to latent or something like that. Um, that doesn't sound too bad. Now the question is, where do I have wood? I've got wood here, I've got wood here. Um, there. It's not the best spot for that, is it? Um, I'm just gonna look around the map a bit till I kind of find uh, 
place that I think is pretty decent to start at. Um, we could do like simple food down here, just doing trucks or something. Well, horse carriages rather, but you get the point, I think. Um, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I kind of want to do the wood thing. Is it only up there, though? We've got wood here, we've got planks here. Only one sawmill, though. Which is kind of not enough either. Um. I mean, I guess we could start up here in the upper right hand corner. But that would cost us quite a lot for bridges and stuff. So, um, maybe. Maybe we're not gonna start. Oh no, this this is not too bad. Where's the. Is there a. There is no tool. Production facility here is there. It's like all the way down there. Could supply that right there though. Let's try this. Let's start here. I think that's not the uh, the worst place to start. Um. Well, to be honest. I don't know, like, the distance is not too far, we could probably just do horse carriages, like a ton of them, but then on the other hand side... I kinda wanna have a train station, don't you guys wanna have one too? Let's do that. Um, we should actually pause the game as well while we're starting this off. So, I do want a train station. So we're gonna do a train station. Makes sense, does it? Um, so the sawmill needs, uh, double the amount of wood that it puts out in planks. Um, so we're definitely going to need a good bit of it. Um, now the question would be, probably just place it somewhere like, uh, does this work out? This Even this works out? Like, this is honestly just too close, isn't it? Ah, oh, this doesn't make much of any sense. Hmm, okay, let's, let's start out with horse carriages, because why not? We're just gonna pull a road straight here then. Then we are gonna go and plunk down a truck station over here. Um, no, wrong button. Um, let's just do like that. That's our truck station right there. Then we're gonna need a road depot too. Which we're gonna plunk right there. Then we're gonna need another truck station over at the sawmill. Um, just like that. Cool. Um, that's pretty much everything we need for a start. It's a really short route, so I'm thinking like putting a train here is kind of... It's just a bit much. As, as much as I would want one there, I think it's a bit much. So, instead, I'm, gonna, I'm actually... I'm gonna put this to one. I hope this is fine for you guys, but this just makes it a little easier for me to hear myself and hopefully for you guys to hear me as well. We're gonna have to click new line first. Then we're gonna build this line and then we're gonna call it the Colburn Wood Line. There we go. That's our first line right there. Now what we're gonna need is a load of horse carriages. I think we're gonna start with like, let's say 10. See how that works. Um, that's, a, that's a really loud sound. Um, select all of them. Assign them to the Colburn wood line. And I'm, in the meantime, going to spend some time balancing this audio out a little better. Which I should probably do that. Do the voiceover as well. Even though we're probably not going to have any voiceovers here. Okay, so let's get time going. Let's see how this works out. These guys should be producing the first few bunches of wood. There they go. And here come all the horse carriages. So let me speed this up. Have the horses go out there. Um, now, we are going to need to bring the planks all the way down here. Which is uh, quite a ways uh, down there. I think what we're going to do first is we're going to actually start building a train line. Which we're going to plunk down here. Then we're going to have train bring wood up here, and later on we're going to have a train come down through here. Bring it like all the way down here to make uh, tools, and then around a basing, basing stoke. Um, 
to supply them with tools. By the way, guys, I think you can rename these cities. Yes, you can. So if you guys have any ideas for any city names that you would like to see, please let me know, and I'm sure we can get them in there. Um, so this should balance itself out within a few minutes. I'm just going to take care of the train station in the meantime. So we're going to make a standard one, not a terminus. Because we want the trains to be able to go through to the uh, tools place. And I'm just going to plunk it down like that, I think. That makes uh, some sense to me, at the very least. I, um, I'm going to make a terminus over here. And kind of place it down. I mean, you could probably just do it like this. Let's do it like this. Actually, that makes no sense whatsoever. Um, let's destruct this. So we should kind of have a... Kind of trying to line this properly. Um, wait. This has a destruction timer on to what? Hmm, okay. Well, so we're going to kind of try and come around here. So it should at least have this sort of angle, I think. Um, we're connected this way, so let's just plunk it down like that. Um, right through the forest, obviously. Because we're already going to pollute everything, we may as well cut down the forest as well, right? Um, cool, and there you go, our first train tracks. So, um, this is going to be a second wood line, which uh, we're going to have a train takeover at. So we're going to need a train depot. I'm gonna plunk. Right. I'm, I'm gonna plunk it a bit further out. Just so the train will be able to go both ways, pretty much. Um, somewhat like that. And then. We're gonna have a one train track. Go sort of like that. And another one. I go sort of like this. Somewhat symmetrical, right? Somewhat. Okay, um, next thing we're going to need is a, another line. So we're going to start in Broadstairs in St. Peter's over to the sawmill. And we're going to call it the Broadstairs word line. I'm just trying to keep this all sort of in line with the locations. So that in the end, we have an idea what line does what. Because uh, else, I'm pretty sure I can get this pretty darn quickly. So, we are going to pick the D13, which is like literally the only locomotive we have right now, and we're gonna need a whole bunch of these flat cars. Um, I think it was pretty flat, wasn't it? This is actually super flat. So we're just gonna stick like a huge ton of them onto this locomotive. Um, so this is poor. As you can see, it's like 16 kilometers an hour. Um in medium slopes, but we've got it pretty much flat, so I don't really care much at all. Um, this is 13. We are at 72 capacity. Um, 12. Okay, let's let's just keep it at 12. It's 2.5 mil for the train, which is quite a bunch, and I think that's a good amount of money to start out with. Um, now we're gonna assign this to the Broadstairs wood line and get this going. Um, here comes our first train. Let's see him slowly chugging his way out of there. Hello. That train's obviously a good bit uh, slower than usual now just because the sheer amount of uh, carriages I've attached to it. It's obviously a very, very old train with very little power and a lot, a lot, a lot of cars. They're actually yeah, they're, they're going to keep coming for a while. So, um, cool. Let's have that train get going. And now, we actually need to have him turn around. Um, once he's on the tracks, just so he starts out picking up wood, not trying to deliver wood that he doesn't even um, have. So, that's going to be that. And then, we have... This forest, which, well, I mean, our carriages are not even close to enough, are they? Um, I think I'm gonna buy like four more, or five rather, just another good bunch of them. 
and assign those to the Colburn wood line too. Just to move more wood over there. The more wood we move, the better. And over here, we're going to see that um, Colburn does 87 in... Wait, so it does 87 in 34 seconds. No, it does 87 in like some set amount of time, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, uh, our train transports quite a bit more still, but um, we can at least uh, move some stuff from here to there, and honestly, I think at this distance, like plunking down a train doesn't make any sense at all. I forgot to turn around the train. Let me do that real quick. So now this train's gonna go pick up some wood from here first. There's not even too much here yet, so it's kind of fine. We're taking our dear time, I guess. Because this uh, first place is gonna have to produce some more for us to pick up. But there are uh, working on that 32 right now. I think my train can all like it. it can all 80. So well, a good bunch more, obviously. Um, now, the question would be, how would we want to do this? I'm not actually sure. It could become... I'm not sure if we actually need a second train for this forest. Because, yes, it can probably produce more, but I'm not sure, like, considering we have this one over here as well, that this sawmill is actually going to need more trains delivering to it. To actually, like, sure it could use it. But um, I'm not sure we could actually do anything with it for the time being. Because we got to bring those planks all the way down to this tool factory, right? So, like, the time until the train gets all the way down here is already going to be that long that it's probably just not a good idea to expand on that much further right now. So, um, I'm thinking we can probably just keep that a little more chill right now and this actually is not the uh, the worst thing in the world to do either. Could probably have a little so that's kind of a next route that I may be playing out the steel route down here but we don't really have much money right now anyway so it's all one after another. Um, what I'm thinking we could take care of though as we proceed through this huge lag um, is leveling this broad stairs in St. Peter's little village um, up some, so I'm gonna put some public transport down here. I think that um, makes some sense. So we're gonna get a road depot out here. Mm, probably wanna make it line somewhat usefully. Sort of like that. Just put it down there. And then we are gonna throw down a few bus stops. Just like this for the time being. Um, I know it's not a huge town. There's not really many people around that town, so we're going to keep it pretty small. And I'm not going to buy many vehicles either. I think I'm going to go for like three. Um, now we're going to actually need a line. So one and a two and a three. That's uh, <laughs> that's pretty much it already. It's uh, a really small village, so um, really much need for much more. Uh, and we're going to call it the Broad Stairs. Coach line one. So, cool. Then we got that going, and then we're going to need to assign these vehicles to that coach line. Um, now, this is a really small village right now, and I like their demand is in these, well, goods. I think it's just called goods, right? It is called goods, yeah. So, as over the long term, I kind of want to be uh, creating a line from like coal and iron. Um, to the steel mill, then from the steel mill to here, and then like with plastic I get from somewhere else. Um, make some goods, and I want to sell it there. So I'm already now creating public transport just to kind of uh, see, like, give this um, little village some bonuses to develop a little quicker. So that by the time that I actually try and sell goods to these guys, there's actually people who want to buy them from me. Because like 52 people is not really much, but having some t public transport already gives me 10% growth, which is pretty nice. And over the long term, obviously, the more people are there, the more of this growth factor will play a role in the development of the town, and it'll eventually get bigger and bigger. Now, the other town that I want to develop is Basingstoke. Um, this one's a bit bigger, I guess. Uh, it's 127 guys. Um, they already have plus 10% um, from private transport. Oh, right, so they have Ooh, so that's private transport, but it was not referring to. But 
Um, we now have public transport as well, which will hopefully eventually help out. Doesn't look like it does just yet. But we will put some public transport over here as well. Actually making quite a bit of money as well inside it seems. Um, so, let's plunk down a road depot over here. Like this. Uh, that just pays as little money as possible. And then I'm gonna throw bus stops all over the place over here too. So just to try and sort of cover everything. I think that does cover everything. Um I'm gonna chunk down a new line. And I don't remember the name of that city right now. Which is a bit of an issue. Um, so we got that line going. Let's basing Stoke. What's the name of the city? So we're gonna name it basing Stoke Coach Line One. As always, just to remember what it's all about. And then we're gonna buy vehicles a bit more than in the other town this time. I think we're gonna go for like five, just like that. And assign these guys to the basing stoke coach line. There they go. Now this is probably not going to last us forever, but five is a good place to start, especially because I don't really think we're going to get that much demand going right away. Probably more than this little town here, but still, definitely nice to have. And uh, still no effect, so maybe that just takes a while. I see there's a first guy waiting right there, so uh, let's see what the effect of that is going to be in the long run. Now, looking at our money, we have a loan going of 5 mil, which I want to kind of pay off. Um, in the first place, I was kind of like, oh, well, you know, just take off a loan and probably make more money. Um, but I tried it on my uh, private game when it never really worked out that well. Um, so, being able to pay back that money, I think I should probably take care of that sometime soon. Um, for the time being though, got a good bunch of stuff going here. We've still got tons of wood over here. Um, we have, so this can produce, does it produce 200? I'm not quite sure how to interpret these charts yet, to be honest. It's got a good bit of back, no oh, no, it's actually not got a good bit of backlog. I actually uses the backlog of rather quickly, so you can probably push more into that. And um, I think there's still small gaps in the supply line. Not huge gaps, but like smaller gaps, so we can probably put like two more vehicles out there. Um, so we're going to do just that, buy two more. And we're going to take them, assign them to this line. But yeah, I think that's going to probably... Uh, after that, it's probably gonna reach the point of like no more. Um, so this thing goes 18. Look, what I'm gonna see is two better streets actually give me more speed on those. Or no, apparently they don't. Okay, so we're just gonna keep the cheapies, uh, cheap streets for the time being. This actually surprises me. So apparently, um, this forest is not able to easily fill up the train in one go. Which is kind of interesting. Like, I would have assumed it produces more, but, um... Well, apparently not. We're apparently shipping quite a bit of that already, so... I don't know, I'm gonna... I'm willing to kind of give it a bit more time, see how stuff develops. If we're going to stay at the state of it producing less than we can actually transport, I think I'm just going to sell a few of these carts to make the train go a bit faster. I'll pr probably have a little bit maintenance, uh, less maintenance cost, and um, well, it, it doesn't make sense to keep uh, empty carts, so uh, yeah, I'm going to be looking into that as well, I think. Other than that, we got this production line going. Now, the next thing I kind of want to tackle is uh, this tool factory down here, but we're gonna need more money for that, so I'm gonna speed up time a bit. And I kinda wanna see how profitable we are as well. So road, we're making quite a bit of money. Railroad, we're actually not... Okay. That's pretty interesting. Oh, and I thought that would be the case. 
Well, let's see how much we wait when we actually sell this. Uh, mm -hmm. We make... 33k. It's not too bad, I guess. Now we're back in the plus. So it's kind of fluctuating. I think a major part of the issue is probably that this uh, forest is just not producing enough wood for us. Which is kind of sad. But let's see. Mm. On the other hand, slide this forest. Oh, I think we're actually pulling as much out of it as well as we can. So we're probably at the max right there. So we're just going to keep it there. Um, other than that, do we have an effect on the... Oh yes, now we do. Okay, perfect. So it just takes some time to actually uh, get us an effect. But that's plus uh, another 10%. So we're at plus 20 instead of plus 10, which is awesome. Just pushing that growth a little more. Same thing for basing. That just... Did that just happen? Emissions. There's a negative effect from emissions from the horses. Okay. I don't know what these uh, guys feed the horses, but they should probably change that up a bit. So I don't want to have that negative emissions effect. Okay, so this time the train's a bit fuller. So maybe, just maybe, we are going to be able to ramp up production on the forest a bit more by providing these shipping opportunities. Um, so yeah, let's see how that develops in the long run. For the time being though guys, this was it for the first episode of the free mode of Transport Fever 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did please leave a like uh, down below, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and want to see some future episodes of this series as well. And as I said before, if you have any ideas as to how I should name specific cities, please leave them down in the comments uh, below. I'd happily take these into account and change some of the names in this uh, little world of ours that we have here. Right, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!